this, this will not do anything for the city of Mazenat. It might get us a game of hockey occasionally. Okay. Okay. But it's not going to do... Thank you. Thank you. Either keep quiet Thank you. A passionate, emotional evening at City Hall wrapped up with little progress on constructing a new event centre, as Council was unable to agree on a funding model after a 6-3 vote against the latest proposal. For us to rob our bank account to pay for this is wrong. We won't even be looked at as the uh, forgotten corner will be, become the corner that doesn't do anything. The difference between a politician and a statesman is a politician thinks about the next election and a statesman thinks about the next generation. Clugston, Thompson and Mayor Norm Boucher were the only three city council members to support the funding scheme. Others cited the economy and cost as reasons to vote no. Alderman Graham Kelly even called out upper levels of government and the local business community for not financially stepping up. No one has come forth with a nickel. I mean, would you put money into something if you don't know if it's going through? No smart business person does that. You get the commitment to build it and then you put the money forth. That's how business works. The Tigers and WHL are growing impatient with the city. In a memo, the commissioner states Medicine Hat is the only centre that does not meet WHL standards. The ball's in the court of the gentleman that uh, voted no right now to uh, get something in place to uh, move forward. One individual is pledging to do just that. We should build an event centre in the 30, 35 to 40 million dollar range on the Bill Ewell model. Kelly envisions constructing a similar sized complex with the same amount of seats but for a fraction of the cost. Local businessman Bill Ewell owns several hockey clubs south of the border and maintains it can be done. You can get facilities that are quite adequate for your needs for a lot less money than $100 million. That's my point. We've been to the mall. We know what they cost. We know what the cost per square foot is. Uh, to come up with something that, that cookie cutter, if he can, it'll surprise me. Kelly expects to present his proposal to council before Labor Day. Kyle Bax, Chat News.